Hi, it's me again. I know you thought it was Ariana Grande because my hair, but I'm sorry to disappoint. It is just me. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you this Valentine's Day look. I did an earlier, or I did a another Valentine's look earlier this week that was a little bit more on the subtle side. So this is my take on a more bold Valentine's look. So I don't go into any of my face makeup. Um, I think I start with my blush is where I start explaining. So if anybody has any questions about any other products I use, I will leave them in the description below. Um, but as always, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, share, tell all of your friends about it. Um, but I hope everyone has a really great Valentine's Day. Hopefully some of you guys can utilize this makeup tutorial. Um, let me know how it goes if you do. That would be super interesting and I, it would make me feel good if I helped somebody, you know, have a really cool Valentine's look. So I am going to jump right into it, but thank you guys for watching and here we go. Okay, so I already did this cheek with blush. Um, but so what I did is I, I went in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit in Radiant. And I took the color Breathe. Oh, this one right here, it's a darker pink. And just popped that onto my cheeks. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my highlighter. I'm using... As always, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sugar. So since I'm going for a little bit of a darker look, for some reason when I do darker looks, I always use this gold butterscotch highlighter um, because it's not as, like it, it shows up a lot on your cheek, but it's not as vibrant, I guess, as the lighter ones. So I'm just popping that onto the high points of my cheekbones above my blush. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and do the smoky eye. So for my transition color, I'm gonna keep it pretty soft and do this brown neutral shade. This is that this is silk cream in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Just taking that on my BH Cosmetics fluffy brush. I think it's brush number four. Um, and working that into my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my darker shade. So a lot of people for smoky eye, I feel like you think of black, at least I do. I don't love black um, eyeshadow on my eyes, so I just, whenever I do a look like this, I go in with a dark, dark brown. So I'm going to go in with this one, which is Chip in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and take that on my BH Cosmetics brush number six. It's honestly, it's just a very, it's the same version of this, but just a tiny bit smaller. Um, so I'm going to take a small amount of that, and with this color, you want to focus it on the outer corner of your eye and try to keep it strictly on your lid and try not to go up too far into your transition color. And so what I like to do is just kind of picture it like a triangle, like you're meeting at a point and then fill it in. And start um, when you're doing this color, I guess, or when I'm working with any dark colors, I like to start with a little amount of product and then build it up. And I try not to go past, like if you're looking, I try not to make this color go past the middle of my eye. Just really try to focus it on that outer corner. Okay, so now that I've got that, you know, dark color packed into the corner of my crease, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35M, yes, Boss Moon Palette, and take this first color. It's like a shimmery cream color. It's not necessarily like it doesn't have glitter in it, um, but it's just very shimmery, if that makes any sense. Taking that on my flat brush, and I'm going to work this starting in the corner 
of my eye and working this all over onto my lid. I'm just focusing this on my lid though. I'm not going up into my transition color. And come like making that meet in the middle of your eye where you ended your darker color. If you do want um, this color to be a little bit more pigmented, wet your brush before you put it in the pan, um, or you can get the product on the pan and then spray it um, with some setting spray or you know whatever you have. I don't really want this one to be any bit or any more metallic than it is. I kind of want the focus of this one to be the darker outer corner. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. Okay, so now that I have that packed onto my lid, I'm gonna go back in with that chip um, brown color that I had used on the outer corner, just a tiny bit of it, um, and go over a little bit of what I had just done to kind of make those colors blend together a little bit more. So since we're going for a more smoked out eye look, I'm gonna take that chip color Again, that same brown color on the same brush that I just used, and I'm gonna drag that under my lash line, or along my lash line, to kind of give it a little bit more of a smoky look. And I'm not, I'm not gonna bring it all the way into my corner. I'm kind of trying to keep it on the bottom lash line and stop where it stops on the top. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some liquid eyeliner. This is the Tarte Sex Kitten. Um, honestly, I love all of Tarte's eyeliners, so if you need a good liquid liner, definitely recommend Tarte. Um, but I am going to do this off camera. If anybody thinks it's helpful to have me do it on camera, let me know and I will next time. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is the Tarte Tartiest mascara and go do some of this just on my bottom lashes. So for lips, since it's Valentine's Day, I'm gonna do a like bright red lip, which I never, ever, ever do this. I don't know the last time I wore red lipstick, so, so I'm really nervous about this, um, but we're gonna do it anyway. You know, you gotta live a little. So here we go. So, when I apply lipstick like this, it just makes me want lip injections even more because it's so hard for me to do lipstick because I just have like the smallest lips in my opinion. Um, but I hear that once you get lip injections, that's not really an issue anymore. So I might be doing that within like the next couple of weeks or so. But anyway, this is the finished product. Hopefully you guys have some you know, cool plans for Valentine's Day and have some places that you can wear this look. Um, hopefully they're more exciting than mine. I think I'm going bowling with my guy friends, um, which is what we do every Thursday. So not super exciting, um, unless you guys are watching, which I highly doubt you are, but if you are, I'm really excited to spend my Valentine's Day with you all bowling. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.